Okay, this is my impression of someone who is being rude to me. <laughs> huh? What? Can't hear you. Get back off. Get your own sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> It was like a breakfast. Do I eat breakfast or do I eat <laughs> breakfast or do I eat lunch? And sorry, I'm still a little bit waking up. And so I decided to go for lunch. So I'm having the leftover chicken from last night, so it gets eaten. Some buffalo Frank's Red Hot to dip in, dip in my chicken. And then I'm having this. I got this at the Asia market a few weeks ago, and I've been really wanting to try it. So it looks like this delicious and ice water. I want to say that I'm proud of myself. Yesterday, the only liquid I drank yesterday was water. I didn't have any pop, sugar, bubble tea, Starbucks, Tim's, espresso, alcohol, nothing. I just had ice water. Literally the only other thing that I had was one of these lemon, ginger, and honey wellness shots. That's it. I realized at the end of the night, I'm like, I just drank that. I haven't done that for a while. I was just drinking water. So it's one accomplishment today. Find something that you did today, even if it was small like that, um, and just try to be proud of yourself for it today. Okay? Capiche, capiche. Now your girl's watching Maury. Maury Povich can come through. Maury Povich can get it. Okay, so then the day took a drastic turn. I was just casually watching movies, scrolling through, and then I get a text. A text that I was absolutely floored about. A text I've been waiting for for years. Well, not years, but you know. There are pink pineapples on Save On limited ones. So I grabbed my keys, ran to the door, grabbed my fake Louis bag, threw on my Uggs, jumped in my car, fired it up, and there we went, hoping and hoping that there would still be one available for moi. Stop, there's three left. You guys, you guys, okay. Um, how do I, <laughs> why won't this come out? Oh my God, stop it. There, I need it, need it. I have been wanting this, yes. Hey, I got a blank space, babe. close to a year now. When I very first saw them, they were like only available in the US. And I was like, really? <laughs> and like, there was no way I could have got one shipped here. Even my friends, like it's a fruit. I don't think they're, I think it's legal to ship fruit across, I don't know, or something like that, or it would have went bad. You would have needed a cooler. It just wasn't worth it, you know, for a pineapple. Also, if you go onto their website, it says after 16 years in the making, Pink Glow Pineapple is finally available in Canada at Costco and a Wholesale Canada. If you do not know what those places are, Costco is a place where you need a membership to buy anything. I don't have one. I used to have one. Sometimes I'll go with my mom and be like the guest, but um, I'm not gonna go there just for a pineapple. <laughs> and Wholesale is the same thing, I'm pretty sure, is you, you have to be a member to buy things, and I would much rather be a Costco member than a Wholesale member. No hate. But I kind of vibe with the, no I don't, this is way different green. So I can't believe when I got the text today, it was like, Savon has like a few of them left, so like go. Take your guesses and how much it was unless you saw it in the store. $17 for one pineapple. And you're paying for like the uniqueness and the rarity and all that. I get it. I bought it right away. I like snatched that shit up. Girl, I'm so excited and I googled how to cut a pineapple. Not because I'm down. <laughs> But because I just wanted to make sure that I'm cutting this in the right way. Like, because I know how to cut a pineapple. But, like, I just don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do with it. Honestly, I don't even like pineapple that much. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna go down in flames. This might go down in flames. So just, just a heads up. So this pineapple here says it's grown in Costa Rica. Costa Rica, Costa Rica, I don't know. People say different things. It's by Pink Glow. It says, Jewel of the Jungle, a rare treat indeed. Your treasure has arrived. By sea and land, Pink Glow Pineapple arrives from afar and into your hands. Behold its radiant beauty as you slice into the 16 years in the making creation. This elegantly packed treat is perfect for transforming that pina colada into a pinka colada, a centerpiece at your next party or a gift to the person who will now truly have everything. Right, this is me! We remove and replant each crown sustainably cultivating the next crop of this magic, majestic rarity. Maybe I'll just buy like some coconut milk and have like a virgin pina colada. That would be really cute because I don't really like pineapple on its own. Let's open this. I'm so excited, I can't. 
What is this? Maybe it's for like, I don't know, protection or something? <laughs> this was inside of it. Looks like this. I know that there are methods where you can pull these out and eat them, I understand that. But honestly, we're just gonna cut it open. Okay, it looks, <laughs> it honestly looks like pork chop. <laughs> Oh my god, it really is pink. Look at this. Oh my god. It smells very sweet. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Right down the middle, and here we are. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, it is so big. This is honestly so cool looking. And this is the core you see right here. Me explaining a pineapple, like a downward motion. I really don't want to ruin this. I'm not a fruit fan, as you guys know. Like, I don't like fruits and vegetables. Oh! Hello, Korhu. Smells like almost like, like not as citrusy, I guess I would say, as like a regular pineapple. It's probably exactly like it. I wonder if like the pink is just throwing me off, but it smells more like a strawberry. I don't know why. See you later, cores. Then I'm just gonna slice it in half. Honestly, it doesn't take much to please me. I'm having such a good time doing this. So I slice it. Don't cut the skin off. Am I doing this wrong? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just like thinking maybe I'm doing this wrong. It looks so cool. Look at that. Cool. Props to this fruit, man. Oh my god. I'm cutting myself. Oh, hey, I'm doing it. What the hell? It literally looks like meat. I'm gonna do one half at a time. I think that's gonna be a lot easier. Yeah. Look at that. I barely wasted anything. What a good method. And up close, it looks like watermelon or like pork chops. <laughs> and I think the smaller container. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna be trying it. I'm just gonna get most of it cut up here. I think the key here is to have a really sharp knife. Sorry, I look like trash. It's just an edit day today also, by the way. This is the pineapple. It literally looks like watermelon. <laughs> it's a very nice pale pink. It smells, it smells like pineapple. It just smells a little sweeter than more like citrusy. It's so soft. Why is that so good? I don't really like pineapple, like I said before. This is like candy pineapple. And it's so soft. One of the reasons why I don't like pineapple is it's so stringy. And all the pineapples that I've had are hard. You kind of gotta go like, and I get stuck in my teeth and it's like crunch, it's like crunchy kind of. This is like, mmm, this is so good. People also said you could take, like you know how those like shell type things? Yeah, that. And like display it on there and like put it into a centerpiece or like a charcuterie, <laughs> charcuterie board and display your pineapples that way. That would look so cute. This would look so cute for like, would you guys buy this? Would you buy it just because it's pink? It actually isn't just because it's pink. I love the, the flavor of it and the taste. Um, or for like the aesthetics of it, like for out of, you know, a birthday, ooh, it'd be cute for like, like a birthday party, a sweet 16, maybe like a, an engagement party or something like that, a baby shower, some kind of party would be really cute for, um, have some like sparkling wine with like these on the side, it'd be so cute. So, um, let me know if that's something you would spend, would you spend $17 on this, like plus tax and everything, so it's kind of closer to like, what, $18 for this? I'm so happy, this is so good, and getting more fruits in my diet. Who would have thunk? Got groceries. And I didn't know that apparently for the longest time you weren't allowed to use cloth bags. Oh my God, I've been using cloth. Well, sometimes I use cloth bags, sometimes I don't. I'm like, what? Cloth bag, what are those? Why are those in there? <laughs> Dun -dun -dun! Yeah! Oh, look at this mask that I have too. It's like unicorns and rainbows. Okay, he's dirty just cause he just got back from work if you're wondering. I'm getting him to try the pineapple. Hey, would you say you don't really like pineapple? Not a fan of it, unless it's uh, like a Brazilian steakhouse. Like grilled? Yeah, grilled pineapple. It looks like meat. Yeah, it does. It looks like ham. It still tastes like pineapple, but it tastes like a little sweeter. Yeah, that's sour. exactly what I said. It's not sour, like citrusy. I said mm -hmm. it's not like citrusy. We both agree. I like it. It was like almost 20 bucks, so. I don't know if it's worth the 20 bucks, but. Best fruits I've had since I like it. Mexico. I might have some more, but. Yeah, I'm gonna too. Maybe like, uh, I put like coconut milk in a drink, in a blender and blend it up. I don't know if I go that far. <laughs> I'm also watching Montreal vs. Boston. There's a scream upstairs. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> There's a nice rotisserie chicken. Look at that, yum. I'm gonna make buns with this and some salad. Mmm. Salad. Look at these little bacon. They give you like three pieces of bacon in these little kits. <laughs> they probably won't even. What? 
That chicken looks really good. It doesn't have a lot of meat on it. One of the meatiest chickens I've encountered. What do you think? It's just me and you, right? Yeah. I think I'm funny. Like I'm like revolutionary when I do something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say to that. Like, good job. <laughs> something. You're not. <laughs> hey! Just like everyone else. I am not just like everyone else. Did you know to roll your lemons before you cut them? You've told me. I wonder if that's a real thing or if I just like said that one day. <laughs> you want any ass turkey? Some dark meat? Ass? Or, yeah. I don't want its ass. Hell no. How does this have no seeds? Chicken <gasps> ass. Look at this. It, does, it doesn't look normal. Like it's like a perfect lemon. It's like the most perfect lemon I've ever seen. I think I'm good on cutting this up. <laughs> You didn't, there's skin here. Mm -hmm. There's like what, skin here. Mm. Here, grab it off the turkey's ass. <gasps> mm. One thing my grandpa always taught me, if you do one thing in your life, don't eat chicken skin. <laughs> my grandpa is a poultry expert. Mm. He's literally like a professor and he's wrote books, like education books. He's like, if there's one thing to do in life, it's like don't eat turkey's chicken skin. I'm like, that's boring. <laughs> It's all good. Okay, I definitely need Valentina on top of that. Yum, I have some birthday cake iced coffee in this super fun glass. Spicy chicken, peri peri style chicken sandwich with some salad. Hello, I want to show you guys what Christmas treats my mom gave to me. I'm making home cooked meals. Oh yes, I'm making such good home cooked meals. Also me, I'm obsessed with this. So I wanna show you how many things my mom made because she's off her rocker. <laughs> Christmas food haul. So the first item is this. We have brown sugar fudge. And I have no idea what these are, but they're clearly being demolished in this house. There's some with like coconut, some with cocoa, and then the powdered sugar ones are gone. I think they're just like fudge balls. Whoops. I'm a fudge ball. I don't even know what these call truffles. And then the other ones are... Save some cookies for Santa. I feel like that's a dig at me. It's like every time I go to eat this, it's like, ooh, girl, save some cookies for Santa. And I'm like, feel bad about eating these because of that. <laughs> it was like the right approach, but the wrong delivery. <laughs> so in here... Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. I'm sorry for anyone who like hungry or on a diet right now but like <laughs> so yummy cherry chocolate pinwheels okay the next two are like canadian foods um so i don't know if you guys will know what these are if you're in america or in other places as well like france or germany or like spain or something like that maybe you will maybe you won't these are nanaimo bars but these are mint nanaimo bars my mom wanted to be different diff mint <laughs> Butter tarts without raisins. By the way, she made everything homemade. Next up, we have Rocky Road Fudge. Like, so, oh my god. There are lemon meringue squares. And finally, last but not least, is apricot squares. So good. So good. There's so much in here. Save some cookies for Santa. Hell no. <laughs> I still want to give you, like, you guys some like some kind of christmas because i've screwed up so much on vlogmas but i'm like still making vlogmas happen and we're on like the 26th we're almost done and then we just get into regular vlogging um i'm very excited because i have something planned for my intro for um when vlog vlogmas is done but oh i just need to get everything together for it so i might have to use my old intro for a bit i don't know yet depends when i start vlogging again after vlogmas everything like that so but i have a plan i know exactly what outfit i'm wearing hair i'm wearing um location i just need it all to work oh don't you guys just love fresh sheets seats <laughs> just climbing into bed and oh i'm gonna read you guys a joke also why is my hair so long like what happened in the last day i feel like the last time i got drunk my hair was in a rat's mess and it was like up to here because <laughs> it was I tell dad jokes, but I have no kids. I'm a faux pas. Anyways, <laughs> it was the funniest joke. Okay. Okay, thank you. Anyways, on that note, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day and whatever you're doing, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!